Hey guys, today we are going to talk about an interesting story and one that might hit very close to home. So I, one of my local game stores up in New York did have a ladies night where ladies played magic for free. Uh, I turned out was always very good. So I was curious about this one when it popped up in Reddit. A local game store charges $5 for men and it's free for ladies. I'm just going to read the top comment. The worst part is that I actually gave them the benefit of the doubt. Hey, maybe they're trying to be a more inclusive space and make it welcoming for women. After reading the response to a comment made, they literally could not have done more. It's pretty gross to say the least. Yeah, my first assumption was, oh, maybe they're trying to get more women involved in magic. That's good. Then I saw their comment couldn't back fa away fast enough. And we'll get to that comment. But I wanted to open this discussion to you guys. I don't really want to have my own opinion on it. I want you guys to comment. Is this good? Is this bad? Do you feel offended? Uh, essentially, ladies night, a lot of people are construing it as um, it's like any lady nights, ladies night at a bar. When you're getting something for free, you aren't the customer, you're the product. And that's a way to look at it. Uh, this just this for all dudes who don't get it. This is designed to get more men into the store rather than ladies I would not patronize a store that had a ladies night if I had a choice And then I would make a distinction between ladies night as handled here and a dedicated lady ladies night for just ladies Now I I don't know like um, bars obviously use it a lot uh, cover charge is free if you're a lady and cover charge is like $20, $25 if you're a man. And I went to uh, NYU and that's always, for four years of college, it's always been that way. I, you know, most bars charge, uh, the male makes up the additional charge because it's more, it's, you know, the strategy is to get females there. Therefore, you will get males who will pay uh, for, for the cover as well as the crazy prices on the drinks. Uh, in New York City, they can go up all the way up to $20 maybe even more so here's the comment uh becky as so i appreciate the ladies free but find it highly offensive and extremely sexist why does it matter if it's a lady or a gentleman this is why i do drafts they aren't sexist and then treasure coast magic which is a local game store highly offensive and extremely sexist good god we are talking about a ladies free thing highly offensive and extremely sexist Oh my goodness, perhaps you should find your sensitivity button and turn it down some. And do you actually know anyone who cares what you think? That's pretty rude. So it might have been a good concept and design to you know, actually promote females to play magic, but this is not the way to comment. And Becky says, yes, many more than you know who care what you think. This is not a year that you should be doing this in 2016 for God's sake. Sexist to guys is what this is. Sexist to girls as well. It might not be a huge thing, but it is still a thing. And obviously, they had to take this down from their Facebook, and they were being, you know, spammed. Wizard of Coast already knows. Screenshots have been taken. They could lose their Magic Gathering license. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I went. I lived in New York City, and bars were always that way should magic places be that way i, I don't know like um i'm really trying to stay in, and not give my opinion to bias you guys so i would love to hear what you guys think about it and what your opinions are so leave me a comment below bye guys